In this short video, we're going to go through a brief proof of this property from calculus. We're going to prove that the derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the natural log of a. It's really useful to know how to do this because chances are you might forget this. So if you ever forget what the formula is, you probably won't forget the proof if you know the proof. That's oftentimes the case in math. If you know the proof, then you can memorize the formula for the rest of your life. So let's go through the proof very briefly. So proof. So in order to prove this, we're going to rewrite a to the x. Recall that if you have, say, e to the ln x, that's equal to x. So we're going to use this in the proof because the e and the ln, they cancel their inverse functions. So here, we're going to take a to the x and we're going to write it like this, e to the ln of a to the x. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the power rule for logs. We're going to put the x in the front. By the way, hopefully this step is clear. I'm going to put this in parentheses so you see it. See, here's your x, here's your x, here's your x, here's your x. might be uh, more clear if I write it like this. So you see how it matches. x, 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 x. It's the same thing. These cancel and you just get a to the x. Now we're going to put this x in the front using the power rule for logs. All right, now let's differentiate. So d dx of a to the x. Well, that'll be d dx of this. d dx of e to the x ln a. Take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's going to be e to that. So e to the x times ln a times the derivative of the inside. We're using the chain rule. So when we take this derivative here, keep in mind that a is a constant. So when we take the derivative of x times ln a, well, the derivative of x is 1. So we're just left with ln a, right? Again, this is a constant. It's like if we had 2x and we took the derivative, we would just get 2 because the derivative of x is 1. Same thing here, the derivative of x is 1, we're left with ln a, which is a number, it's a constant. Then what we do is we bring this back upstairs. So e to the ln, a to the x, ln a, right? Using the properties of logarithms. And then we know these cancel, so we get a to the x, ln a, and that completes our little proof sketch. So pretty, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice proof. It's pretty easy once you understand it. Um, that's, the, that's the case with all of math. If you understand it, it's easy. If you don't, it's impossible. Um, worth knowing how to do it. So basically, you rewrite it using this. You bring the x down, then take the derivative, and it should work out, and you should get this formula. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.